Well, joining me now is talk TV contributor Paul Arone Adrian, a political journalist Ava Santina, and international editor Isabel Oakshot. Welcome Thank to you. my dazzling pack. All right. Paul, I can see you. You, you can see. Raging to go off I'm again. Well, I'm intrigued that you've decided to open this really serious and sensitive debate by suggesting that somebody referencing themselves as a cat mm. equates to a child who is struggling to understand. I didn't. How, I, I actually how, separated how the two to things. How to identify. Well, you heard me separate the two They're things. They're two completely. Yeah, but Paul, hang on. Sorry. You heard me separate the two things. I read out again and reminded what? people of the absurdity of a teacher calling children despicable for saying it was ridiculous to allow someone to be a cat. And then I said, but it also, there are serious issues involving people who are seriously going through the issue of transgenderism for real, not just a fad of being a cat. Well, and they're different things. They, they are completely different things. So don't misquote but, me. But, but you're opening with that as if it's somehow something to be dismissed and somehow to be treated as a joke. And this is my problem with the guidelines. Which Not to be taken as a joke, no, no. Which we have waited Par five years for. Parents being informed about what their children are doing at school is not a joke to me. We've waited I'm a father five... of four kids who've been through school. I want to know. If one of my kids suddenly decides to identify as a cat, I want a phone call from the school. Right. We've waited five years for these guidelines. These yeah. guidelines are start off by saying it's about parents being first. We're, we're putting parents first. Yes. That's wrong, Piers. It's not about Why? parents. It's about the child. It's about the vulnerable child. You're a who parent, needs, right? Absolutely. Who needs the adults around them to support them during this difficult period for them. But the what it, what it doesn't come need, first. What it doesn't well, need is for the child who is vulnerable to be told, no, the parent comes first. That's the wrong approach. No, the parent that does the come first approach. until the child is an adult. So, Isabel. So Paula, if you want your child to be given medicine at school, if you want them just to have some cow pole, you have to get permission. That has to... You have to go through a process. I have to sign a form if I want my child to have cow pole at school for a headache or a sore yeah. throat or whatever. It is... Uh, to me, it is negligent and bordering on abusive to allow schools just to honour a child's wishes to be known temporarily as something else without involving... For them to be made comfortable. The this, is, this is where we become the, confused. We've been child-focused and saying that the child gets everything they want. They want. That's not what I'm saying. Being child-focused does not mean that everything the child says is right. But what I'm concerned about is that saying parent first means that anything that the child says is always going to come second to what their parent so wants. So do you and think that parents not should be cut out of the loop? Let, let's absolutely make this a simpler not. then. Yes, do you think not. it's OK for parents to be cut out of the loop? Because that's at the not. heart of absolutely this. Absolutely not. That's absolutely. At the heart so they should be involved then? Of, of, a parent must be so involved. Be told. So a parent must be involved. No, 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 no because no, no, we're no. missing out on a really important Thank cog you. here. Which is, so, so even if that the parent agrees that the child would like to use a different set of pronouns, the school does not have to abide by that. And it would only be exceptional circumstances where the school actually accepts it. So at the moment, there'll be loads of, a lot of children around the country who'll be going into the Christmas period now, not knowing how they'll be identified when they go into school in January. You know what? Yeah. They get identified so as true. boy or girl. Right, but why like like the old days. Why do you feel like that? You don't go in and say, you call me they like Sam Smith. No, Piers, those days you. are done. Piers, you're shouting. Because you it's so stupid. It is you're ridiculous. shouting. Let's shout about the fact that the criminal stats tell us that hate crime mm. against transgender uh, people mm. have gone up 11% in one year. Yeah. Over the last five this years, it's gone up 186%. This So what we need to do... I think do, that's awful. So what we need to do I think any, is prepare... Any hatred towards trans people is awful. But why do you think that there is so much mockery of trans people compared to five, six years ago. I'll tell you why. Because they are fighting ludicrous battles, the trans lobby, That's over fair. things like demanding the right of biological males identifying as trans They're women demanding to the compete right to in exist. sport against females. Right. And, and the that more that happened, happened... And then in Scotland, you saw Nicola Sturgeon lose her job because she was putting biological male rapists into female prisons where they could attack women. What does and that have to do? When this stuff happens, the right. real victims, actually, the real victims are genuine trans people who just want to have a quiet life, who go through a lot anyway, and they just want a quiet time and to be respected and tolerant uh, by the Florida Lee society. Anderson, and I want to, Lee Anderson I want to take care of those people. Rally the troops, rally the conservative troops, mm. and say, we're going to fight the next uh, election mm. on the basis of culture wars and trans. It's not a culture well, war. Okay? To do with it. That's it's not a culture war. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Paula, I'm sorry. But the issue of biological males 
competing against biological females is not a culture war. It is an absolute full front assault on women's rights to I fairness agree and equality. And, and why any woman still defends here. this nonsense not, all of is you. ridiculous to me. All of you. No, we are talking about subject. that because it's being dismissed we're as not, cultural. We're talking about schools here. And in my opinion, this guidance doesn't actually go anywhere near far enough. What would I, you like it to I say? Think We've got to be, can I just talk for one second here? Because I've tried to interject repeatedly Ooh. and only been talked down. I don't think it needs to be guidance. I think it needs to be the actual law. I do not think schools should have a huge amount of discretion or indeed any discretion mm. over this. And by the way, this is only a consultation. So mm. we've waited all these months, you yeah. say it's years. Yeah. It's certainly nine months since Rishi Sunak called for urgent action yeah. Yeah. and it's only a consultation. Look, for me, this is very straightforward. I do not think children should be encouraged to take decisions that they may come to regret very dreadfully. A lot of this stuff is As we not, saw at the Tavistock Clinic, right, Ava? But these are the arguments that were used against children in the 80s and the 90s when we were mm. talking about, you know, whether children could be gay. We were mm. talking about that. You know, it's mm. exactly the same sort of rhetoric. And remember, we shouldn't Isabel, be encouraging we're talking them. about social transition. Being gay we're not is a talking sexuality. About... No, but... Right? But Identifying as a cat is not, not a sexuality. No, come on, you know that that is a false equivalent. The massive difference. Right. We fair. discussed how we, we were not that. going to well, equate that. To, uh, we weren't going to use the cat analogy with well, this I very am. serious discussion. At the, heard it. at the moment, we've got a murder trial going on, you know, potentially because of a trans child died. Mm. All right? You know, and we're talking about bullying. But there have also been murder trials this year of trans people killing people. So it works both ways. Right. No, no, no. Come right? on. Because, OK, we no, can't no. talk about that specific case, but let's take be out, serious. You can take because out individual stories. Of course you can. If a child and was, amplify them. No, if a child was but bullied... But I, well, I think both of those are horrific for different reasons. So what is, what is it what's the point? Schools? But trans murderers do not represent trans people. But if a child was killed because they are trans, then mm. that is pretty That's important. What's that got to do with the school Well, let me tell you what it's got to do... bullying them, then obviously that is allowing... It's that's allowing that change bullying. Yes, it is. I don't see how it's going to change bullying. We know how we know how important schools are of course they are the locus parenti aren't they for our children when we send them off in the morning mm. we know that and so what's really important of course is that the school has guidelines but what happens rules, is rules not guidelines well, and, and do you know what rules. that is where I would uh, I would agree with you on mm. because at the moment we don't have anything watertight it's very fluid we have this consultation period it's 12 weeks it's a little bit convenient that they suddenly sent out these guidelines when most schools have broken up when most schools are coming to the end of, uh, mm. of their holidays so what what they think that they're going to get but back, you know I what's don't going, know. I'll tell you what's but, been going on, Paula. There are no doubt there are some children genuinely going through transgenderism, right? They believe they're born in the wrong body mm -hmm. and they have to be taken care of, cared for, respected and everything. I totally support that. Uh, but there are a very, very small number of people. What has happened in the last two to three years, there's been an explosion in, the media. in people identifying as no, non-binary, gender fluid, a mm. hundred other genders, so? because it's it's well, trendy, it's a fad, let them. and teachers have been traduced into going along with this and not telling parents. But and it's completely outrageous. My, my family are teachers, my friends are teachers, and I spoke to them before I came on this programme, and I said, do you do you have transgender children at your school? And they said, yes. I said, do you use their pronouns? They all said yes. And I told them about this new guidance, mm. and they said, well, that's unworkable, and why would we do that to a How child? many have they got? Yeah. What, how many have they got? How many trans children? Very, very small, each. Tiny. But probably at one, one to each Right, person. now what about the people identifying as non-binary, gender fluid, blah, blah, blah? But so what? Right. There was one to. school in Brighton where there were 1,000 pupils, I think there was something like 300 were identifying as non-binary or gender fluid. I don't think it's, it it's is nonsense. a so It's what. a fad. I'm sorry, I don't think it is a so what. I think that when people start having actual surgery to change their bodies in ways that yes. is not reversible, that isn't a shrug, shrug, but we're not so talking what? About we're not, surgery. We're well, not talking about surgery. We're not talking about surgery. The Tavistock Clinic, about the Tavistock clinic was, was created on the altar of virtue signalling nonsense and children were being mutilated at that altar and it's completely outrageous what was going on there. That's very different to people using pronouns right, in schools. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a slippery slope, isn't it? it? Is. Once you start to acquiesce to kids wanting the rights to everything I and they rule the roost and they have the final their say... Their rights to be comfortable in their own body. Parental rights should be absolutely confusing. paramount. Now, there is an exception. Where the, there's a genuine belief based on teacher knowledge, social services maybe, whatever, of violence towards a child who may say something like that when they go home, that is different, and that's been allowed for in this... No, it has. You know what, yes, has. No, this guidance specifically says as well, even if it's agreed by the parents and by the school, the school will not take it on. They no, but there's a specific the criteria for kids who may be at risk. 
right? I'm just very Teachers concerned. will be able to withhold information if they believe a child could be put at significant risk. Piers, so it's in there. But that's they won't be using their can I, can I just tell you, mm. that isn't unusual. In terms of safeguarding, that's quite normal. Mm. Teachers are always very careful to ensure that the child comes first and if there is a concern about risk of harm, significant harm, then they will, of course, do what they need to do in terms of contacting the appropriate professionals to ensure that the child is cared for first mm. before the parent finds out. That's not unusual. What my concern is, is exactly what you've just been amplifying, this parental right over the child right. Yes. No. Yes. That's, yes. No. Yes. Absolutely Sorry. Parents yes. not. Do. Yes, no. until they're legal adults, the parent that, has the right. That and is our this job is, as this is, Sorry. Right. this is why I'm glad we're actually having this debate and this so debate is needed and the consultation period is required. But what we should not be doing is adding flames to this culture war because... It's not you, a culture you, war. You are doing that. It's about, and the, now, it's about our children. We've had Kenny Badenoch say war. that there is no child born in the wrong body. How can you tell me that this if you is had a, your way, Paula, How can you tell me this is Paula, a culture war? If you had your way, war. you'd have kids, young girls at school. I've got a 12-year-old daughter, right? You'd have her up against six foot five inch biological males in sport. Oh, come You'd on. You'd have yes. her having to share the, the, the uh, toilets bathrooms. Where, and on. bathrooms oh, with biological males. This is an unattractive right? argument. You'd have a bunch of her friends identifying you. as this cats. Is an unattractive and you know what it is? It is licensed is. chaos. And actually bordering on abuse. I think Page it one. is bordering on abuse. I think that we will look back on this era in future as a period in which we allowed our, we actually encouraged children to become Correct. incredibly confused. And it is terrible for mental health yeah. to keep projecting all this oh you might be this you might be that look the vast vast majority of people are either a boy or a girl yeah. and they don't need their mind befuddled with a load and we, all we don't need befuddled. what we don't need is a people like sam smith who start off as a gay man a year later, he's non-binary. Then he wants to be called they, them. Then he wants to be gender fluid. Blah blah blah. It is just fadism. Is it? Oh, fad oh, yes. Oh, fadism. And he like demands. By the way, let's not forget that this year, thanks to him and his campaign, he demanded the Brit Awards go gender neutral. And what happened in the best individual singer category? They were all blokes. The nominees. But look. All men. On page one of that guidance, it questions whether gender dysphoria is even legitimate. It questions whether, you know, Good. someone well, can be born like into the wrong body. And I think maybe, more in, maybe more questions should be asked. Totally. They're simply going, oh I'm, a, I'm actually, I'm a girl, I'm a boy when you're not. But no one's splitting like that. We're talking are. about people who they genuinely are. feel like they're Gazillions born into the wrong body. And you should respect that. Because they're all, they're all chasing a fad. It's just like in the 70s when David Bowie put makeup on, they all wore makeup. Kids do that. Anyway. Kids also it there. are committing suicide, peers. Yes, some Kids are. Kids also it's very sad. are self-harming, peers. It's very, yes, it's also, I don't the deny that. Thing. And so we I don't need deny to address that. this and, really and, not, and get... not come across and, as if we know And you know, know what best. they're not getting? Because so many kids are being encouraged to identify as anything they like, the ones who really need help are getting lost in the wash. So you accept that happening. there are ones that really need help? Yes. Because so do I. I said that in my So do I. All right. I'm glad we all agreed. Nice to see you all.